we are on to opening this week, brought to you by our friends over at AMC Theaters. Natasha, what is coming out this week that we should talk about? Zootopia is coming out this oh, yeah. week. From the largest elephant to the smallest shrew, the city of Zootopia is a mammal metropolis where various animals live and thrive. When Judy Hopps, voiced by Jennifer Goodwin, becomes the first rabbit to join the police force, she quickly learns how tough it is to enforce the law. Determined to prove herself, Judy jumps at the opportunity to solve a mysterious case. Unfortunately, that means working with Nick Wilde, voiced by Jason Bateman, a wily Fox who makes her job even harder. All right, Zootopia. We have actually, all three of us here have seen Zootopia. It is following up both Wreck It Ralph and Frozen and Big Hero 6. So Disney has gotten themselves back on track, obviously, in the last like what of five, six years. Um, so would this one continue? For me, the answer is yes, absolutely. I really enjoyed this movie. It has the moments that you want for little kids. It's got the moments that for adults. There's those jokes that you, at some point, and I think you guys agree with us, that you're watching this movie going, that was really risky that they put that joke in there, but it works. It plays out. There are some moments that you feel, okay, I've seen this before. That's fine. But I thought the relationship between Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, who voiced by Jason Bateman, by the way, and is the, some of the best voice casting in a very long time. It's a feel-good film. It's it's. I, I really enjoy what Disney did here. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Bateman was phenomenal. But I also, Jennifer Goodwin as uh, Judy Hopps, like, I cared about that goddamn bunny, right? Yeah. When I met it, I was like, oh, it wants to be a cop. Let it be a cop. I liked how you had, like, a home away from home feel at the beginning of the movie. And then you get into this huge metropolis with all these different animals. It's hysterical the way that they have animals evolve to the point when they're like us. They just have ordinary problems. that with their, they're, they're going shopping. They're trying to stop crime. There's all these things happening, selling popsicles. And you're right, Christian. When Perry right. and I, we saw it together, we were walking out of the theater. We we're like, dude, there's a lot of humor in there that's going to go right over kids' heads. But it made us, there's drug humor in there, guys. Don't worry, your kids aren't <laughs> going to know, but we sure will. As cheesy as it sounds, this is like the ultimate fun for the whole family mm -hmm. film. Like, I'm already picturing my little cousins and their parents going to see it and everybody <laughs> loving it. As a horror lover, though, I was hooked. I'm not going to spoil it, but I was hooked by the first scene for obvious reasons, which you will see. Everything in this movie is just so insanely clever. And I had a similar reaction to this as I did to Inside Out where it's like, oh, the mind world, and we're going to personify emotions, but how are you going to build it? When I saw this and I saw how they divided up Zootopia in the different areas, like the different types of climates that animals live in, I'm like, all right, that makes for a pretty image, but how is that going to work? And they really like go into some pretty good detail with like just the world building and how people operate in Zootopia, and damn, that sloth scene. <laughs> like, I, I've seen that sloth scene in theaters like three or four times at this point, but in context in the movie, and they don't really change it in the movie, but I'm still, like when he opens his mouth so slowly to yeah. laugh, I am just dying every time. Every, the way that they use the sloth in general, not spoiling anything, there's a couple ways that they use them in the movie that was so, it worked, and you're absolutely right. It was the world building that got me because I felt like that what I didn't feel that the good dinosaur did, you know, with the in the beginning when the when the it misses the earth, the kind of misses the earth, and the fact that it, it's it wasn't set up as well as this movie is, and I thought that this movie was really charming. I think you can go see it even if you're an adult. Like sometimes you feel a little weird. You're going, ah, oh, it's a kids movie. I'm by myself. I don't want to go freak the kids out. You might end up freaking kids out, but you're still going to enjoy being in the theater because this yeah. movie is good for kids or adults. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also. Make Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.